Welcome back everybody to episode 13 of my Love Hurts series. Today's episode, I'm going to be uh, reviewing a film called Spring from 2014. In case you don't know what Spring is about, it's about a young man who's in a personal tailspin. He flees from the US to Italy where he sparks up a romance with a woman holding a dark primordial secret. This film was very good. I got, I got little notes, but it's all basically positive notes. Um, the uh, framing of the movie feels very natural. Same with the lighting. The editing very much conveys the emotion of each scene to its fullest extent. The music fits very well. In certain parts, the dialogue is comedic, well written. The chemistry between Evan and Louise, it just feels very natural. It works very well. It is a horror film, but it also has a love story in it, and the love story is definitely at the forefront of the film. It's also a monster movie. In the way that the film is structured, I'd say it's kind of like Jaws and the fact that we don't really see the monster as much, but when we do, it's terrifying essentially so in that sense it's kind of like Jaws nothing can really compare to Jaws really um, but this film is very close the reflection shots in the mirror look great and I know for a fact that it's very hard to shoot scenes with mirrors in it because you got to take into account what's the best angle so that the camera isn't seen but at the same time shows what the director intends. All the blending of the elements of the film kind of make it feel like a dream, like movie, like it almost doesn't seem real. I'd say almost surrealistic in a way. The pacing is very well in the film. It's surprising because it takes place over like a few weeks, I think, but everything feels like it's within the same week. Maybe it is the same week. It's overexposed in scenes, but it works very well. But it's only in a couple scenes where it's overexposed a little bit. Like I said, it, it works very well for the film. The visual effects are well executed. When you actually see like the creature it's really well done and very believable. The drone cinematography of the film I felt was very unique and they were uniquely incorporated into the story. It kind of blew my mind a bit like how well the drone shots in the film actually worked. I think I read that they weren't originally gonna have a drone in it and then they weren't able to almost weren't able to have the drone shots in because of a border issue like bringing it across a border and then all the shots that they ended up shooting in that one day or so ended up in the film and they look perfect. The story is very beautiful. It's all been positive so far for the film but I did have one very minor issue. It feels like it was cut short at the end but also at the same time it feels like a natural end to the story and I mean if the final shot was like two seconds longer. It'd be a perfect film. If I had to give this film a rating, I'd probably give it a 9.9 um, .9 out of 10. I just love the film so much. All the elements just worked so well together. It, it could have been a perfect film, except I felt it wasn't. I felt it was like two seconds too short. Overall, very well done film. And I think it might have been a directorial debut. I'm not 100% sure on that. If you're interested in checking out this film, you can watch it on Amazon Prime, at least in my area. I think you can get DVD or Blu-ray copy somewhere, Amazon, whatever, wherever you buy physical media. So I hope you like this review of Spring. Give this video a like and subscribe if you're new and stay tuned for the final one which is, well, actually, I don't want to spoil it, but you can kind of probably figure it out. See you in the next review.